Hey friends, it's Miss Degna and I miss you so, so much. So I'm very excited to be doing this lesson with you today on main idea and key details. So a main idea is what the story is mostly about. And a key detail is a fact that supports the main topic. So before we get into our main passage for today, I'm going to share a picture and a um, paragraph with you from one of my old zoo books. So when I was about your age, I used to read uh, zoo books, and this is from one of those. So I'm going to read to you this paragraph right here, and you're going to follow along, and you're going to think in your head, what do I think the main idea is? What is this paragraph mostly about, and how do I know? So that's what you're going to be thinking about while I'm reading and you're following along. Okay, here we go. Tiny ears help the Arctic fox survive in the severe cold. Because tiny ears do not expose much surface to the cold air, they do not lose much heat. The Arctic fox's woolly fur also helps to keep it stay warm, even when the temperature drops to minus 90 degrees Fahrenheit. When it's caught in a blizzard, this fox curls up in a tight ball and uses its bushy tail to cover its face. All right, so I'm going to give you a couple seconds to think, hmm, what is this mainly about? What is the main idea of this paragraph Miss Degnan just read? All right, so I'm thinking that this paragraph is mainly about Arctic foxes and how they stay warm in their very, very cold habitat. They live in a very cold environment. So this is telling us how Arctic foxes stay warm. And that is the main idea. So if that's what you were thinking, if you were thinking about Arctic foxes and how they keep warm, that is absolutely correct. Great job, friends. Okay, so we're going to move on now to our passage for today. And oop, our passage for today is titled Arctic Fox. We're staying with that topic today. So I'm going to read to you this passage. And what you're going to do is you're going to be thinking about a couple things. The first thing I want you to think about is the main idea. As I'm reading, I want you to think, hmm, what is this mostly about? Then on the right over here, we have some red boxes like you had with Miss Trongone in her lesson. And you're going to be looking at each of these underlined headings right here. Each of these headings. And when I'm reading the paragraphs underneath the headings, you need to think about what evidence in these paragraphs makes this a good heading. So we need to find what this paragraph, paragraph is about and how it what evidence we can find that makes this a good heading. So I'm going to start at the top and you're going to follow along with me and we're going to stop at each heading to find evidence. Okay, so we're going to start at the top. Arctic fox. An Arctic fox lives in the Arctic regions of the Northern Hemisphere. It lives in Northern Europe, Northern Asia, and North America. Here are some interesting facts about the Arctic fox. Okay, so this is our first heading, and I'm going to use my highlighter here. So this is our first heading. It says what? Oh, that's my pen. Ooh, ooh. Mistake to me to boo-boo. Hold on. All right, my highlighter. Perfect. So what are some of the Arctic Fox's adaptations? That is our first heading. All right, great. An Arctic fox has many adaptations that help it live in the cold climate. It has a thick fur coat that is brown in the summer and white in the winter to help it blend into the snow. The Arctic fox also has fur on the bottom of its paws to help it walk on the ice. The Arctic fox also has great hearing. It can hear small animals moving under the snow, then it jumps towards the animal and punches through the snow to grab its prey. Hmm, let's see. What evidence can we find in this paragraph that makes what are some of the Arctic fox's adaptations a good heading? So, let's see. It says, oh, it has a thick fur coat. That is a really good piece of evidence of an adaptation that the Arctic fox has. So it has a thick fur coat. That's an adaptation. Oh, it also has fur on the bottom of its paws. That's another adaptation to help it walk on the ice. Perfect. 
It also says the Arctic fox has great hearing. That's another adaptation that the Arctic fox has. It can hear small animals moving under the snow. Then it jumps towards the animal and punches through the snow to grab its prey. So anything I've highlighted, those are some good, that's some good evidence for our heading about what are some of the Arctic fox's adaptations. So I'm going to write here. I'm going to say, our, oh, that's a little bit too big. Let's make it about there. Perfect. So, Arctic foxes has a thick fur coat. Perfect. So, that could be one answer. Or you could say, it has fur on the bottom of its paw. It has fur on the bottom of its paw. So these are all, I'm getting all of these things, my answers here from the evidence I highlighted that supports my heading up here. Good job, friends. And I could also put, the last thing I could put is, it has great hearing. Beautiful. Okay, let's move on to our second paragraph. Oops, so I got to highlight my heading. What do Arctic foxes eat? Hmm, what do Arctic foxes eat? That is my heading. So that's what we're going to be looking for evidence for down here. Arctic foxes normally eat small animals. These small animals include lemmings, bulls, hares, fish, and birds. They are also scavengers and will eat dead animals that the larger predators leave behind. Arctic foxes also eat bird eggs, seaweed, and berries. Woo! This is telling us a lot about what Arctic foxes eat. So let's see, what can we highlight as evidence to prove that what do Arctic foxes eat is a good heading? Ooh, it says they normally eat small animals. We can highlight that. Uh, they, they eat lemmings, voles, hares, fish, and birds. We can highlight that. Oh, they eat dead animals. We can highlight that. Oh, and lastly, it says Arctic foxes also eat bird eggs, seaweed, and berries. Oh, my goodness. Anything I highlighted here would be a perfect, perfect piece of evidence to prove that what do, far, what do Arctic foxes eat is a good heading. So I'm going to write in my box. I'm going to write here, I'm going to use what I highlighted to tell me what to write for my evidence. So I can say Arctic foxes eat small animals. Perfect. I could say they eat lemmings. They also eat lemmings, bulls, hares, fish, and birds. So I don't have a lot of space, so I'm going to keep it just there. But we could also write that they eat bird eggs, seaweeds, and berries. So this one, ooh, this paragraph had a lot of information that definitely, definitely um, gave us evidence for our heading. Great job, friends. So what I did with our first and second paragraph, you're going to do with the third paragraph at home. So what you're going to do at home is you are going to... Look at this heading. How big are Arctic foxes? You're going to look at that heading, and you're going to read this below, and you're going to tell me hmm, what evidence down here tells us how big are Arctic foxes. So I want you to read this below. Oh, let me try and do that one more time. I want you to read this paragraph right here. And tell me, how big are Arctic foxes? You need to find evidence for that heading in this paragraph. And then the second thing I want you to do is you're going to tell me down here 
What is the main idea of the story? What is the main idea of the entire uh, passage we read today? What is the main idea of this entire passage? Those are the two things I want you to do. The main idea, and then I want you to also find the last piece of evidence for our third paragraph. And you're going to put your main idea on this side of your chart. This is the same chart you did with Ms. Trongone. You're going to put your main idea on this side of the chart, and you're going to put all the evidence you wrote in the red boxes over here. All that evidence is going to go on the right side of your chart over here, where it says, what reasons and proof does the author give about the point he or she is trying to make? That's the one, two, three. That's going to come from the red boxes. That's your evidence. And over here, you're going to have your main idea. Thank you, friends. Awesome job. And I will see you soon. Bye. Let me know if you have any questions.